Happy Saturday, folks. We are doing an out and about with Chris and Lee. The kids are in Pennsylvania. They had their grandmother's funeral yesterday. We're going to pick them up tomorrow morning. But Chris didn't have to work today. So, he rolled some cigarettes and we debated back and forth about going to play bingo at Foxwoods. But smartness prevailed because I have no willpower. And Chris has no willpower. So and we're a bad combination to go and to the casino. And on top of that, sitting there for four hours waiting for the bingo hall to start playing. Yeah, today it's the stupid. doors open at 8, but it doesn't start till noon. <coughs> and that would be four hours of temptation going to play slot machines and stuff. And, and then I was you're walking like, around with your bingo packets. Well, no, you go put them in there. Well, yeah, you have to carry them with you because if you put them on a table, somebody would steal them. If you left to go play slots. But I have this man out to go to Worcester to the Goodwill so we can go look at look for DVDs and just get out for a little bit and hopefully go across the street to Boston Market if the food looks good. It didn't look good the last time. So then we'll come home and... Yeah, the half chicken looked like a quarter chicken. Yeah. <laughs> then they're doing away with half, half of all the sides. Yep, all the stuff was gone. And uh, so, yeah, and we're looking for... Well, it's starting to drizzle now because I see the little spots on the window. But it's supposed to snow and rain today. Yay! So... Yesterday, we come home from work and we're talking. I happened just to look out the back window and... The whole pool tarp pool just tarp. got sucked right inside the pool. Yeah. And that's a new one that we bought from the pool company. Now, normally we'll get one from Ocean State. It's a cheaper one, but we get it two or three sizes bigger so it hangs over the side. And that way, when there's wind and problems, we have leeway. Yeah, and I can hang the weights on yep. it, and they're closer to the ground, so they, they don't look too tacky. Yep. Now, well, uh, when I bought a brand new cover from actual pool co company, and it was like 200 and something dollars, I told her I wanted to get a bigger size up. Oh, no, no, these are already big enough, and they're four feet longer. Yeah. She didn't listen to me. If she just would have listened to me... You know, and not talked me out of it. It was me spending more money, so I don't understand why she was trying to talk me out of it. But she, you know, and now it fell right over the side into the pool. So, so I went went out there yesterday, tried to pull up all the edges, put the one gallon jugs with pea stones inside of it, weigh it down a little just to keep it up and out. But it was frozen solid ice. Well, ice. Ice is probably about four and a half, five inches thick, and I'm breaking it down with a sledgehammer and pulling pieces out. Oh. Yeah. Freezing cold water, even though I got waterproof gloves on, but they're not insulated. So it's, it, it took me about an hour after being inside that I started feeling my fingers again. <laughs> yeah, that's what he did when he got home from work yesterday. So, yeah, that's what's going on today. Um, I took out country style pork ribs. I took out kielbasa and a la the last chicken pot pie that I had made ahead for freezer meals. I'm trying to clean that stuff out, but it's all got a thaw. It's in the fridge thawing. So I don't think I'll be cooking tonight. Maybe we'll order Chinese or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Then we gotta leave early in the morning tomorrow to go pick up the kids and get them back home and settled so they can get back into the groove for school on Monday. I wonder if there'll be another trailer truck on the very parkway again. <laughs> Why don't you tell everybody about that? You know, everybody, I'm sure you all travel, you go places, you just gotta take these certain roadways. Now, if you take a parkway, no trailer trucks are allowed on that road. That's why we went, because she doesn't like being around the trailer trucks on the highway. So we're coming back Friday night from dropping the kids off, and 
And we're on the Merritt Parkway. And she's like, oh, I'm so glad we go this way. There's no trailer trucks. And I was like, yeah. What is that coming up 100 feet away? You know, the, <laughs> the full on 54 foot trailer, 18 wheeler sleeper cab parked 200 feet away from a 11 6 overpass that he couldn't even get through. Now, the exit that we drove by was about three and a half, four miles back. So, yeah. She's freaking out. She's like, what is he thinking? He was parked on the side looking at some kind of map or something. I and, don't know. Yeah. Dio, I'm sure DOT had their way with him. Because now it's going to cost big money to get uh, the roadside crews out there for the state highway departments to block off five miles of lanes so they could back him all the way down and get off that road. Oh. Yep. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. <laughs> yeah. He probably just got his license too. He looked like he wasn't even from around here. Oh, I mean, the, the, as soon as we got onto the major highway to go drop them off, <laughs> there was a huge accident. Yeah. Miles upon miles upon miles of backup. Yeah, they shut down two exits on that part of the highway coming back. Thank God we didn't come back that way. Yeah, it, and this is why I don't drive to meet halfway, but because of the funeral, I didn't want to put added pressure on him to drive all the way up here to get the kids when he's been dealing with all funeral stuff all by himself and <sighs> yeah so we, we chose to meet halfway and even though we had more of a longer drive than he did which was fine it wasn't too bad better than driving to Philly yeah so we got to do that again tomorrow to go get the kids. But, you know, it won't be during a work day where people are rushing home, being on the highway. <laughs> <sighs> and he's got to be to work, too, for Monday morning. So we're going to do it early in the morning. But the kids spent, you know, I know Sierra, she texted me. She found, you know, she was going through her Nana's things. Um, she found all her driver's licenses. And the first one from was from, like, 1978. So, she showed me a picture of them all there. She had kept all the driver's licenses, but, yeah. I'm sure that it was nice to have um, him have his kids there with him. So, we're heading out just for a few hours and go look at different places that I don't go to without him because it's too far of a drive. I'm comfortable going to the local Salvation Army just to get out, which I did that yesterday. And, uh, but, but if it's in the city of Worcester, <laughs> she won't go. Or anywhere there. else. I, I stick around here. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're going to do. And, you know, if the food looks appetizing at Boston Market, which is one of my favorite places, we'll go there. If not, I'm not going to do it. So we are out and about and we'll be back. Later. We're at the Goodwill. It's not open till 10 o'clock, which is like five minutes. So we'll just have it a cigarette and see my car with all the little stickers on it. I got these, I got the decals on the car. I got it in there over there and then I got this from Timu it's the only bumper sticker that I will put on my car I am not a fan of stickers on the car and then I have one right there too but yeah I am not a fan of stickers on my car but when I saw that on Timu <laughs> I had to get it Chris put it on, yeah, the other day. I've only had it all summer. But we're waiting to get in. And then Boston Market is way over there.
I haven't one of those in a while. So we just left Goodwill. We're over here um, having a cigarette before we go into Boston Market. Before and we see your heartbreak. I did really well. I got a Nutra Slicer. Um, it's like the one I have, the countertop one. As but it's brandy new in the package still for $5.99. I'm very happy with that. It's going to be my backup to the one I have. and Because uh, I got one off of Timu, but it's very flimsy and it won't last more than a few uses. And um, we found a lot of good DVDs. Whole series. Um, the Last Man Standing. But I will show you all that. We're going to go check out the food now. Then we'll go back home. <laughs> so every time we've come here in the past they've never been open on time and they never have a lot of food and they're out of a lot of things and it is 11 o'clock and it's supposed to be open and it's not it's getting hangry <laughs> ready to knock on a window and somebody peeks a head out and hey hello well Unfortunately, white people here. there's a Chick-fil-A down the road, which I really wasn't in the mood for that, but... We're trying to get in and out of there as a monotonous I big know, time on a Saturday. We'll probably just go get protein bowls if they don't open and we'll go... Protein home. bowls and Chinese food. <laughs> oh yeah, Chinese food for dinner. Okay. That's why I wanted my rotisserie chicken for lunch, so there's no carbs in that. But, uh, maybe we'll... I still got chef salads in the fridge too from Brothers. But I'm just, I have one every day, so I'm getting tired of it. I just want a break. The last time we came out here, I checked the website. It said it was open and then it was closed when we got here. Due to chicken shortage. Yep, but. Alright, so we just went to Boston Market and it was a horrible, horrible situation. The guy lied to my face telling me, oh, the right left door, uh, you can't open, you gotta open it from the right. Dude, I pulled on all three doors of this building. And other customers came and opened, tried to open the door and they wouldn't open. And he said that they were, one of them was broken and you had to pull to the right door and it Wait. was full. And then his worker showed up at five minutes to 11.30 and stood and had to be knocking to get in and then he shows up and has to unlock the door to get in and but there's two people in here at all at yeah. 11 o'clock so you would have not thought since we were sitting out there before that look yeah young kid came he knew we were sitting out there even after he went inside and if it was open at 11 he should have come out and said are you waiting to get in here? I'll open the door. But he didn't. He let us sit out there and sit out there and sit out there until that manager happened to come in and unlock the door because he was unloading his car full of all boxed foods, boxes of broccoli that go in there and boxes of cakes. Everything's cakes, boxed. Cakes where they probably misprinted the label and say freshly made. Yeah, right. Anyway, the chicken didn't taste as good as it used to. They had like no sides. They had potatoes, gravy, mac and cheese, which it was so pale and did not even taste like cheese. Oh, it did. And um, corn and green beans, which is what I got. And yeah, it's gone downhill so bad. And he was saying they have like no customers hardly, just regulars. Yeah, how do you say? Yeah, the only time people think that this place exists is when it's around Thanksgiving. Yep. The rest of the year, it's pretty dead. And I can see why. It's, it's, every single time we've gone there, every few months or so, the doors are locked way past the time they're supposed to be open. And they don't have and they don't everything have, out. The soda machine didn't work. But the ice machine did. So we had to get a bottled soda, which charges more. Yeah. And they're not even 20 ounces. The skinny bottles. Yeah. They're half liters. 16.9 fluid ounces. You probably yeah. paid $3 for this little bottle. Yeah. So, yeah. And I left there still hungry because the chicken was like so hard to get off and there wasn't much there. 
So now we're heading to the Salvation Army because we had to get on 395. And I'm like, you know what? Let's just stay on 395 because that's where the Salvation Army in Killingly is. We'll go there and then we'll go home. I was telling her when we left the parking lot at Boston Market, I'm like a truck stop dinner at a truck stop. Usually the nastiest food in the world. A little more glamorous looking than what we just had. Yeah, and they changed the black containers that were really nice to the styrofoam containers. And So if you're going to cut into your chicken, you got to be careful cutting it because then you're going to dig right through yep. it with the freaking yep. styrofoam. Yep. I can't believe how much it's changed. Yeah. It's so not the same as it used to be. It's too bad. Because... Three customers walked up to that door and they lost three customers because if they knew the doors didn't work, then why not leave it open? Because he had the kid finally open the door and prop it open. So why not do that at 11 o'clock? And that kid was there at 11.30 getting there. <laughs> he could have been, had that door open and propped open. Oh no, the doors, they're, they're, he just didn't want to work. 11. He didn't want to take any customers until then. That's what it was. He's like, there's two people inside since 11 o'clock. No, there was one person inside at 11 o'clock. The second one showed up at 11.25, and then you show up at 11.30 telling me that and he didn't the want to doors hear were unlocked. And he did not want to hear it. We kept telling him he tried all the doors, and he didn't even, he just kept telling, cutting Chris off, and... I was like, I couldn't deal with this guy. Nope. But thank God we don't go there very often. It's oh once, a, once a, every six months or so. And it's only when I go out to that thrift store. And I don't do that maybe once or twice a year. That's okay. Because the next time we go out there, we go to the Goodwill to find some good movies. We're going to drive by go to Chick-fil-A. We'll get what we want for what we pay. And we're going to smile and wave. Okay. <laughs> yeah. There today, the customer was not right, even when the customer was right. He did not want to even hear it. He kept cutting you off. I was like, oh my God. I just... And then I sat there with tasteless food. It was so tasteless. The skin were, had more seasoning. Oh my god, it used to be so good flavor. Oh. It was like nothing. It's like a it's like a it's like so empty in there. So empty in there. Oh. Anywho, we're going to head to the Salvation Army out oh, killing me. And then we'll head home. So there was a field mouse in here. He's inside there. <laughs> Baby field mouse in there. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's all my mouse. <laughs> so we didn't get much at all these. We got a few things, but now we're going home. My legs are tired. I got some things that I saw on Facebook being shown from people. Some cheese fries that were very low carb. So I'm going to try those. And uh, and um, never rely on a we're going to go home now. We are home. Okay, so we got at the first thrift store, Chris saw this jacket. Levi Strauss, size extra, extra L for $14.99. And it looks very well made, very sturdy. It's brand new. Looks brandy new. Then he found floodlights, 
five dollars and ninety nine cents. Energy saving. Yep, and that's unusual for him to look for things that actually matter. It's always you, usually just you have for to Chris. Follow along and go along with the Bidenomics. I got two tank tops because <laughs> that's what I wear around the house. I found a book from Heather Graham. John Sanford, because I collect his series, and when I have them all, I'll be reading them. And then I, whenever we see floaties real cheap, floaty queen over here. I buy them because they don't last long, and I'd rather you know the kids break something I only pay two dollars for. And then I found a silicone spoon, which I'm trying to switch everything over to silicone. Yes. Yes. <laughs> then I found a scoop because I needed a new ice cream scoop. And ice then ice cream and meatballs. Ice cream and meatballs. That's Christmas toy. Yep. So you... I could try to flatten my mountain. Okay. <laughs> And these were $0.59 cents a package, and there is two packs in each one. Sierra likes those when she goes to the horse farm. And the lady at the register said when you have menstrual cramps, you can put one, like, right on the side of your belly or whatever where the cramps are, and they work really good. And then foot warmers. Those are always good to have. So, these are small mediums. Hmm. Perfect for Sierra's feet. Yes, they are. And then Chris found Band of Brothers Steel. This is the second one we've gotten. And that's a Blu-ray edition. Yes, Blu-ray. And it's in nice condition, the boxes. Yep. And then we found Only the Brave. The Happening, which we're going to put in as soon as I'm done with this video. Behind Enemy Lines, Columbia, which I have two or three others of that series. Red, too. So now I just got to find red. Magnum PI Season 4 to add to my series. And then we lucked out. We found Last Man Standing with Tim Allen. The final season. The eighth season. The third season. In the second season. In the second season. There's she nine seasons. found season. one and I found the other three. Yep. So there's nine seasons all together. Then I saw this, The Killing Fields, and that looked pretty interesting. <gasps> and The Handmaid's Tale, season one. Ah! Castle. The eighth and final season. So I'm almost done collecting that. Oh, and then we're going to watch Collateral Damage, too. This was brand new, not even opened. And then I found OC, the OC Season 4. And Scorpion Season 1. We used to love Scorpion. And then it got canceled. The kids love that show. Then I found a Nutri-Slicer for $5.99. And I opened it in the store because it was sealed. But it's brand new. Look at it. It's still got all the wrapping. So this is going to be a backup to my... Pull the box, please. See, it's all still in the package. That's why I wouldn't fit back in the box. You crunch the book. And this feels much sturdier than the Timo one and the one I have now. Always be careful with the instructions. Oh, yes. I, I tried to jam it back in the box and look what happened to the booklet. But for $5.99, I looked these up on Walmart. They were 20 So we got a good deal. The movies, we paid um, three fifty for the movies at the Goodwill because that's how much they are there. And then we went to the Salvation Army where they don't cut them in half either, and I only got two there. But this was my pride because I love the one I have now. And this was brandy new in the bag, in the package. And then we went over to Aldi's. 
And I found this. I've never tried their cheese, so I'm going to try their cheese. And these, the kids go through blackberries like crazy. And here they're three ninety nine for one of these. So these were two fifty. So I got some of those for them to when they get home tomorrow. Then I found these keto, I mean these cheese fries, halloumi style cheese sticks. So I saw people on Facebook talk about them and how great they were. They were three dollars and something cents a bag. So I got two bags. Keto friendly. And a one ounce serving is two grams of carbs. So I'm going to try that. And then Chris likes these almond flour chocolate chips cookies. And they are seven carbs for seven cookies. And then I found these egg light fraps. Have not tried them yet, but people have been making spaghetti with them. They cut them up. They have been making lasagna with them. So that's what I'm going to use these for, lasagna noodles, and try to make a small lasagna. This is the garden salsa, and this is just the original. One carb in the to uh, garden salsa. Zero carbs in this. And they're wrapped, so you can wrap anything with them. And then I picked up a thing of romaine hearts. And their pizza sauce, all these pizza sauce. Five carbs. Because I'm going to make a pizza this week. So that is what we got. Now we're back home and it's 2.30. And I got to put all this away. And I have to log all these. Take them out of their sleeves. And put them into the see-through sleeves. Then we're going to settle down and watch TV. Because we got to leave early in the morning to pick up Miss Sierra and Mr. Todd. But yeah. I got the, the veggie Nutri Slicer for $5.99. Very happy.